Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new Bioshock video here on the Bioshock Hub. So this is a video that personally I've wanted to make for a while, although I couldn't necessarily make it because the community for it is not too active, and that is Bioshock 2's multiplayer. So, I have an idea for you guys. For those of you who watch me or watch this video and you have Steam, I'm going to leave my Steam ID down in the description below. I want to be able to bring back the Bioshock 2 multiplayer community. So that way we can all have fun, I can make some videos on it for you guys, and potentially have a live stream. So if you guys want that, let me know down in the comment section below. Let me know if you think that's a good idea. And with that out of the way, I just wanted to quickly say that, let's get into today's video. So guys, personally in my opinion, the multiplayer for Bioshock 2 was a ton of fun, and it was very well done. However, it suffered from one major problem. At the time that it was released, which I believe was February 9th of 2010, that was the heyday of Call of Duty, and it dominated the FPS market. So, basically a lot of people weren't playing Bioshock 2's multiplayer, simply for the fact that at the time Black Ops was just released, and the year before that, in 2009, we had Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Both of those games, up until I believe Black Ops 2, or Black Ops 3, I can't remember which one it was, they held the record for the most amount of concurrent players per game, as well as the most amount of sales for an FPS. So, that is where it kind of had a little bit of a downfall. However, like I said, Bioshock 2 was severely underrated. You had a ton of customization. You actually had an in-game ho like home in the apartment. You had all of the backstory on the audio logs. And you had a ton of content in Bioshock 2. But like I said, it suffered from what a lot of FPS and a lot of multiplayer games suffered from at the time. They just fell flat up against Call of Duty because that's when Call of Duty actually dominated, like I said, the FPS market. So, in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys some of the gameplay that's in the background, how it looks now, and as I mentioned at the start of the video, I would like to be able to bring Bioshock 2 multiplayer back. So again, I'm going to put my Steam down in the comment section below and in the description if you guys are interested, and I want to just have some games with you guys. I want to be able to have fun, possibly talk to you guys, that way it's kind of my opportunity to give back to you guys. I know I can live stream, I know I can make videos. But that only does so much for you. I feel that I should be able to try and talk to as many people that watch my videos as possible. So this might be the way out. Anyways, another thing that I'd like to talk about with Bioshock 2's multiplayer is just the fact of all of the content that it had just sitting there. I believe there was about 8 to 10 different characters that you can pick. There were so many different loadouts that you can pick and obviously the more you play, the more you unlock. So you can start off with a shotgun and a pistol, however if you keep playing and playing and playing, you can get upgrades to those weapons, you can get the machine gun, you can get just all of these different weapons and plasmids, and then not to mention, you would upgrade yourself as well. And the fact that, like I said, there's 8 characters or 10 characters in between somewhere, I don't know, that's crazy. Then if you look at the maps, I believe there's like 12 different maps all in game. So you have things like Fort Frolic, Hephaestus, the Cashmere Restaurant, etc. Then, on top of that, you had about 10 different game modes as well. And again, that could have competed with Call of Duty if there was more of a community for Bioshock 2. So you had your typical team death matches, your free-for-alls, your capture the flags, like domination, stuff like that. And then at, on top of that, you had the sister grab, I believe, or the capture the sister where it was kind of like the headquarters of Bioshock 2 where you had to get the little sister and I believe retrieve the atom that she gets so again there was a lot there I feel personally that it just ended up falling flat in front of Call of Duty like a lot of other games so let me know what you guys think do you guys think that Bioshock 2 the multiplayer was really good did you guys enjoy it did you guys dislike it if so what did you like or dislike about it Please let me know down in the comment section below and let me know if it's a good idea 
to try and kind of revive Bioshock 2 because right now there is absolutely no news on Bioshock Parkside. That's why I haven't been making videos on it and I don't want to constantly keep making videos on it without any more news or rumors or speculation or leaks or anything like that because I don't want to spam you guys. So let me know. Bioshock 2 right now, in my opinion, I kind of want to start a revive of it or a resurrection of it. If you guys think that's a good idea, let me know. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy the video, would you kindly drop a like? If not, you can drop a dislike. Just tell me what I can do to make the video better for you guys. If you're new here and want to see more content or join the Rapture family or see the Rapture family grow, would you kindly subscribe, share the video with some family and friends, and be sure to turn on notifications. That way, when YouTube decides to act up, you guys will be notified when I post a video or when I go live with a live stream. If you guys want to talk to me outside of YouTube, Twitter and Discord are the best ways to do so. Both will be down in the description below if you guys are interested. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully we can make Bioshock 2 active again. I really want to play some multiplayer with you guys, or just multiplayer in general, because it was a ton of fun when I actually could play it. However, the community isn't there right now, so we, the Rapture family, should try to start making Bioshock 2 active again. So anyways, again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you all in the next video. Take care.